Bad News Brown. Let me give y'all a little advice in my experience. Don't follow the mob. Don't have the mob mentality. Now when I say mob, I'm not talking mobster or gangster. What I'm saying is basically, don't be a follower. Don't follow the crowd. It's not good to be with everybody on. You can't be on with everybody on. And it goes back to the old school saying, hey, if a million people jump off the bridge, would you? And most of us would. Even though we all said no, most of us would. And we all have jumped off the bridge once upon a time in our life, so to speak. So with that being said, you got to understand these old school sayings like, as, like being a leader, not a follower. That's you really need to take heed to that. Especially, I only want to say in this day and age because, you know, it's the same as it ever was. But you really got to, it's real vital that you understand what that means as far as not having a mob mentality. Because when you follow the crowd, had a mob mentality, you guarantee you're running into a brick wall eventually. Because what ends up happening is you, oftentimes you, you pledging yourself to something that you don't even know or realize. And usually it's against you because you're following the crowd. And you don't know what the crowd, who incited the crowd or who indirectly instigated the crowd to even make that move. Even if the supposedly reason that the crowd is moving is right or proper in your opinion. You got to really stop and think and ask what's going on and what exactly do that mob or following represent. So it is real vital you do that. And I don't care how old you are. And again, like I said, we all have jumped off that bridge once upon a time and we still jump off that bridge. And it can be in small forms and it can be in big forms. And don't get me wrong. Usually, it's nothing wrong with, with fellowship and rally around a certain point, righteous point. But you really can't be with everybody beyond. And you got to really understand the root cause of mob. And again, I'm going to reiterate, when I say mob, I don't mean like mobster, mafia, or gangster, or criminal. Because a lot of people from my area, we like to associate that word with a lot of our street get out, whether M-O-B or M-O-double-B. It's not what I'm talking about. I'm really talking about being a follower. And at the same time, how should I put it? I don't want to say that's included, but not limited to. But again, if you follow in the wrong crowd, the wrong road eventually leads somewhere. But my main point, I don't want to get sidetracked, is the simple fact that, man, Group thing as has, how should I put it, beneficial, it may seem, it, it, a lot of times it ain't. But again, you following that crowd, that mob. And then another thing, you got to, what's the origin of that word, mob? But what I mean is, what comes to mind is like the old school 1800s. In the whole, not even necessarily the, the slavery. You know, but just the cowboy era, because I ain't even talking about the slavery. It could have been a fugitive or whatever, and he in jail. And you got the mob of people. They want to come and, and get him out of jail so they can lynch him. And, of course, that happened to us plenty of times. But I'm just speaking in general. And that was the mob mentality that did that. And don't get me wrong. It could be somebody that the uh, a travesty out here when we all feel a certain way like no nah, he don't even deserve to go to trial or nothing we need on site and you know that don't make it right but again i'm kind of getting sidetracked but that is an example of the mob mentality you can't be with everybody on you're gonna run into a brick wall trust me you know the other thing like man nowadays man what if everybody on it you you should go against it 
And again, we can all fall victim to that. I don't even care if it's something as a, a trend, a pair of shoes. And you got all these challenges going online. You don't, you got to ask, okay, what, who started that challenge? For what purpose? And does this represent something other than what I think it means? As it harmless as it may look? We can be something is do it. Let me do a digging your nose challenge. Everybody feel yourself digging in your nose. Hold on, what exactly do that mean? And I'm just giving an example. I don't know if that fucking mean anything. But you get what I'm saying. Don't be no follower, man. You really got a second, you know, question everything, man. Second guess everything. And you really ask what the whole purpose and the intent behind it. Everything has something to do with intent. You understand? Because good people can do bad things and bad people can do good things you understand so it's all about intent you know when it comes to the root of things i don't care what you do and i don't want to hear though oh we had good good intentions and oh i meant well i ain't talking about that snake oil salesman talk i ain't talking about that intentions my main point is man don't follow the mob you understand if they pushing something heavy, whatever the mob, especially if it's something out of nowhere, you really got to be like, hold on. You really got to go the other way. You understand? Shit. I know a few people that that's knee deep in the game of life in a figurative and literal sense. And they, we got some people that kind of like the old mobsters, man. I don't like large crowds. If I can't keep my eye on people, you understand? I, I, I don't want to be in large crowds. You know, and, and, and of course, that could go a lot further with even talking on phones and stuff. But the point is just being around too many people following the crowd. And again, and I may have mentioned this before, if you notice a lot of major calamities in history, it's always involved a crowd, especially in the biblical time. There's always a crowd doing something they weren't supposed to do. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with coming together, rallying together, and fellowshipping on a particular cause. But that's not necessarily the mob mentality, although it could be, and that's again, this is where the whole the energy, and a lot of times this happens in the case of, of the people in America, the whole energy and intent to get redirected, and they don't even mean the same thing you mean no more. The good examples I see be a lot of times when we had these, um, police uh unalivings you understand and a lot of people want to march and protest and again on the surface that seems like yes oh exactly but it always get redirected and you end up serving a different person you just a, a different purpose you're just like a pine really a pine on a chessboard and you ain't even playing on your side you playing for the opposite color because you may, and, and I, see, I see it all the time, time and time again, again, and in, in big examples such as that, even in small examples, is, is in terms of challenges. And just people, period, man, again, my experience, man, you follow what people doing, man, you're going to run into a brick wall, man. You understand? And I can elaborate more and more on this, especially this is one of the issues, not one, probably just the issue I got with the whole talk of um, the majority rule. Anything to do with the crowd, what everybody say, nah, it usually ain't the right thing. I'm going to keep it 100 from my experience. You know what I'm saying? People are idiots. You understand that individual people, persons, can be special. But when it comes to the crowd of people, because it's usually the, 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 the main point get lost in egos and other shit. You understand? I'm going to keep it 100. Yeah, like that whole majority rule. So if the majority people is on some BS, that makes it right. That's the issue I got with that whole word democracy, the majority rule. If anything, it should be the rule of law. And that sounds crazy, you understand? But I'd rather that than just, oh, this is what everybody says, so that make it right. Nah, because like I said, usually when it's a crowd of people, even if it start off, Something I agree with. You got to be putting law in and set in stone. You understand? And if it's, uh, of course, it's going to be some righteous, then that's what's going to set the tone, not what the majority of people say. Because one minute we can all agree with that, the next minute people won't switch up. Again, the majority of people in the room is 
some serial R words, you understand, do what they agree on, what they want to do makes it right. Hell no, of course it doesn't. So you get my point. And that's one of the issues I have with with group things in a lot of ways. But again, for y'all from my experience, a word of advice when you get to following, and I know what what what's what's popular, what's this, you don't want to stand out, you on with everybody on. And if you just watch, like I said, it usually put put you in a brick wall. There's plenty of people and I don't care if you're on the streets, in jail, or just in a bad space in their life, really wishing they wouldn't have followed the crowd, whether if it was their peers or something they seen, whatever. They wouldn't know what everybody else was on. So be on your own thing, bro. But of course you gotta develop exactly what you want and who you want to be and what you like and that just to me if you ask me that comes from reading and getting information now of course we in a world that doesn't encourage reading everybody want to watch and look at some on, on these very media platforms but again the information is on these media platforms but you're going to have to fight against the whole entertainment are you going to really study you understand and open yourself up to the information then you can develop your whole character so you won't be a follower. You understand? But <clears throat> again, you can just second guess and research everything that's coming your direction. You know, that's the rule of thumb. Especially again, usually when there's a lot of people on that height, that's your rule of thumb right there. Do the opposite. You understand? Do the opposite. And of course, that. And again, I got to reiterate because. You're going to like what you like, and of course, there may be several other people that like the same thing, and you guys rally around that point. Again, usually, in that instance, there's not nothing wrong with that, but don't get the following. For real, all that yelling and chanting and all that, getting all that out of anger, because that gets nothing done, right? You understand? That, that's the mob mentality. You understand? You're not even moving now you're moving off emotion and that's what they do and that's another thing i think about it when we had back when all these police unaliveness or any just injustice in the, that happened in america the people are mad so we upset we rallying but did the point get lost in the anger the emotion it easily get redirected and it can come in the form of oh now they're looting and breaking into the stores and that's the first thing they put on tv we already know the move it's the quick spin move. But usually it's a bigger hidden hand than that. That's just on the surface. It's usually you you down there to do something else, not even knowing. Yeah, they wanted y'all to come down there to do this so we can do this. Yeah. You understand? So y'all got to think about all that, man. I can go on and on that about not being no follower. It is corny as it sounds, corny as you think I sound, which I give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what I know. The joke is definitely on your ass. I don't care who you is, so you understand, keep living, you know, you know, if you're blessed to, or your next mistake be your last mistake, you understand, or your next indecision or misjudgment can very well be your last one, and this applies to us all, so take it lightly if you want, you understand, and it can come in the form again, following that crowd, you're at the wrong party, you're at the wrong function, you're in the wrong car, Hell, you even walking, then you ain't even talking to the wrong person, you understand? You be singular, you down there ain't even got to be with the crowd, you understand? And, and a lot of I speak from experience, pimp, you understand? You know, I, I'm all across the board. I know how I feel like to win, I know how I feel like to lose, I know how I feel like up, down, left, right. I know everything, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't get too much past me, you understand? I may play. But that's a whole different thing, bro. But y'all get my point, man. This is bad news, Brown. That's been on my mind, man, because a lot of stuff I see out here, just people, you know, they the assembly line they creating people is less informed even more so. So like they stepping on the dope, cutting the dope, and I, I use this analogy all the time. What I mean is there. They're making people even, like I said, less informed, and I hate to use the word, more stupid than maybe 20 years ago. You understand that? Maybe, you know, they was putting maybe, you know, 
80% pure and 20% stupid 20 years ago. Now it's damn near 50-50. You understand? And they probably got it on schedule. To, oh, yeah, by this year, it'd be hell. 10% real and 90 dumb. You understand? So, y'all take heed to all that, man. And again, whether you agree with me or not, it's safe to say I'm right, man. And I bet you can draw from your personal experience. But that ain't the point, man. Bad news, bro. I'm breaking it down for y'all.